Hi there, this is C and welcome to Crossing Chronicles. I am so excited to share this recent build we did on stream. When I first thought of the idea of having a shark diving area and a fishing spot added to my camp core island, the concept completely consumed me and we finished this build within three streams. Conceptualizing these areas and building from scratch took about five to six hours. But before we get started, I just wanted to say that this build is a little bit more complex than our other tutorials in this channel, and it's very open to your own interpretation. This build has wide open areas that I really enjoyed designing, and you do not have to strictly follow this video tutorial to create your own fishing and shark diving areas. Your biggest challenge in doing this build are getting all the fish models you want to use in your diving area because to get the fish models to use there, you have to catch three of the same kind of fish, wait for CJ to appear on your island and then give that to him and then he will mail the fish models to you the next day. It can be a fun activity to do with friends or you can just find a treasure island to visit and get the items you need there. That's what I did. I went bananas on the treasure island and picked up all the sharks that I want to use for this shark shark diving area. All right, let's get started. As with all island builds, we start with terraforming our layout. So here we have three levels to work with. The lowest level is Rex's fishing spot. The second level are the waterfalls. The third level is Kiki's house and a diving gear shack. Behind Kiki's house is another lower level where we descend into the shark diving area. Okay, so let's start at the first level, that's Rex's fishing spot, and the land area of the fishing spot is 15 squares high and 12 squares width. On the left side there is a 2x4 piece of land that is protruding into the water. That is the fishing spot with a view of the waterfalls on the second level. Go on and plot this piece of land with this grid as your guide. About 5 squares from the fishing spot is the leftmost corner of Rex's house. Place his house right here. For Rex's front yard, you can design as much as you like using fishing items. Here's how I designed mine. I kept it pretty minimal and I included a bamboo bench so that I can enjoy the view of the fishing area with my villager's house in it. Here are the codes that I use for this area and the total costs for items and materials are 4,800 bells, 13 pieces of wood, 2 pieces of iron nuggets, um, 10 clumps of weeds, 5 tree branches, 17 stones, and 14 bamboo pieces. The second level are just waterfalls for the view. Here's the grid for it. Behind these waterfalls will be the shark diving area and on top of it is Kiki's house. So up on the third level, make a 4x4 square where your second villager will live. Make sure that there is space to walk towards their house. Put a tree here and put a tree there and the destination signpost and then you will have a great view from the fishing spot area down below. So let's go ahead and check the view. I planned for the diving area and the fishing area to only be accessible through the Leaf Hope Resort. So we have to go around over here and this kind of small entrance on the left side here to go back into the fishing spot and then prompt that camera spot and enjoy the view. 
yes, it's very relaxing. I love this part. <laughs> All right, now that the villager home is set up, let's work on connecting this area to the resort. From the waterfalls you built on the second floor, create this land bridge here. Make sure to leave a two by two space for the incline onto the shark diving area. Add six simple panels across the last square on the back two brown, two gray, and two brown again using these design codes. Make sure to drop some wetsuits and snorkels for your friends and dream address visitors. The total cost for the diving gear shack is 26,260 bells, four pieces of hardwood, eight pieces of soft wood and 48 pieces of wood. There's a lot of wood because of all the stalls that was used for this area. All right, onto the main star of the show, the shark diving area. Create a 12 by eight plot on the second level behind Kiki's house. Note that your plot is not going to be perfectly rectangular as some of the trees are overlapping the bottom part right next to the incline. Here's the code that I used for the water design and you can use the same for both the ground and the 12 simple panels that I put across the back. Once you set this up and the simple panels, then your shark diving area is now ready to be fully decorated. Like I said at the start, you can use other fish models on this area. It doesn't have to be sharks. It's just I wanted sharks, so that's why it's a shark diving area. The fun part of this build is choosing what fishies you want to use and the items to decorate your diving area. Here are a few tips I used while designing this area. Remember to make space for rocks, grass dandies, small potted plants to cover up the stand of the fish models. You can also put the bigger fish on the back and use the smaller fish on the front to cover that, that little uh, fish model stand that you can see right below the fish. This way, when you align your camera, it's almost as if they're really swimming with you. You can also use the bigger stone items and plant items all the way at the back right next to the um, simple panels so that it looks like kelp or ocean floor rock formations. So remember to provide walkways as well because people might get stuck especially when there's a big group visiting in your island and everybody's trying to take pictures. So you can see here that I have a lot of free space for people to kind of position themselves and take pictures in. So for my shark diving area, here are the items I use to decorate. The 12 simple panels across the back, three grass standees, one cat grass, two fan palm, one pine bonsai tree, one monstera, one cypress plant, two stone stools, one flat garden rock, one garden rock, and two mossy garden rocks, and then one tall garden rock. All of the rocks I used in this area, I think. And then for the fish models, I used uh, angelfish, whale shark, great white shark, napoleon fish, barred knife jaw, clownfish, surgeon fish, hammerhead sharks, a zebra turkey fish, koala canth model, and also the ocean sunfish. This portion of the build requires a lot of tweaking and moving. So just cozy up and enjoy the process. What helps is when you determine specific spots where people can start up their cameras and also design within that frame. So here are my photo spots and you can just see how I framed the fishies around it. Here's the second photo spot as well. But what I love most about this build is that it doesn't require too much precision. It's a bit more free flowing. So even if those are my two photo spots, it's still open to other creative shots like these ones.
I definitely had a lot of fun designing this on stream, so even if this design is a little bit complex, I wanted to make this video and share it with you in case you wanted to build your own. I highly recommend uh, visiting my dream address to see this area for yourself. All the items and codes are in the description as well. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content like this one and Animal Crossing short films. Till next time!